It is time. Let's talk to the late round. Chris Brown. It's right. Brown calls the number to me. Say the box. Say the bye bye bye. Get you on. Play the sound. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Let's start with Andrew in Connecticut. Andrew. Booyah, Jim. Just wanted to say thank you to you and your team for everything that you do. Very kind. I bought, I bought Powell Industries about a week ago, and I just wanted to know if you thought it was a buy, sell, or hold, and whether or not you could have them on to talk more about investing in their data center uh, business. I tell you the truth, I should ask them. I've been buying, uh, we've been buying Eaton for the Travel Trust, which is our favorite in the CBC Investing Club. You've got a good one, too. Let's see if we can't get Powell on. They're very similar uh, businesses. I've been trying to get Eaton on, too, get the whole shooting match here. Let's go to Tibbs in Indiana. Tibbs. Hey, now, Lim. Tibbs here. Given hey, the Tibbs. better earnings from left, given the better earnings from left corner, how do you think about the stock IEP? IEP, I have no idea what it really owns. I will not recommend stocks when they have money when I do not know what they really own. Let's go to Joe in Ohio. Joe. Jim, big booyah. How you doing? Nice. I'm doing well. How about you? Great, great. Can't complain. Uh, just an opinion, please. Mission Produce, trading symbol A-B-O. Alpha Victor Oscar. You got me beat on that one, partner. I don't know, Mission. I have to, like, check it out. Now, probably I'll hear Chipotle tomorrow talk about avocado prices. We'll learn a lot more. But that's what I know is what I – this one's new to me. Let's go to David in New York. David. Well, yeah, Jim. How are you? I am good. I, I look forward to working with you tomorrow morning at 9, unless you're not David Faber, and then I don't. <laughs> I'd like to know your opinion on the management and growth of the company, ASP Space Mobile. Is it a buy short term? Well, the, these guys, they got to make money, and there's nowhere in, I don't see any way, shape, or form that they're going to be making any money, so I'm going to have to hold off on that one. Let's go to Gabe in Michigan. Gabe. Hey, Jim. Good evening, and a big Michigan hail to you. Oh, thank you, buddy. What's up? <laughs> hey, I've been watching a, a company here for a few months, as you've advised, you know, throughout the years, been watching you, and uh, there's some uncertainty tied up here in the court system, but after positive earning and outlook and pipeline. What are your thoughts on GSK? I think GSK is going even higher than it is right now. It's been a terrific winner of late. Uh, and Dame, Dame Walsh is doing a terrific job. I am I'm a believer in GSK. I am a believer. Let's go to Trey in Texas. Trey. Jim, my wife was cooking hot dogs last night made with chicken and pork. And she asked if I thought they'd be good one day past expiration. I told her they were never good to begin with as I only eat all beef. And, Jim, I only buy my dogs in one place. And that's a lot of revenue behind a lot of dogs. Could we buy the Kroger company? Well, I was going to be in Costco where we got the buck 50 hot dog yesterday. Okay, look, I, I normally I would just say, listen, we're fine with Kroger, but the CFO just quit. And I got to find out what the heck's going on. And the CFO is real good. It just happened. So we're going to hold off right now for Kroger. Let's go to Michael in New Jersey. Michael. Hey, Jim, a big Scotch Plains booyah to you. Oh, man, I remember we played Scotch Plains. We used to beat them. And then one year, we came in. My kids were 14. I thought every one of their kids was 16, and I challenged them. And that was the end of my coaching career. What's up? Uh, greatest under-the-radar stock, rarely mentioned. 294 consecutive quarterly dividends and 67 fiscal years of increased dividends. And that, of course, is Parker Hannafin. What a company. What a company. I mean, unbelievable. You know, they used to come on in the first couple years of the show, and it was just blow away. And then they kind of you know, they kind of went their way, and I went my way. I think PH is a remarkable company. Let's go to David in California. David. Yeah. Hi, Jimbo. How you Whoa. doing? Stand I'm doing well. How about you? And beyond the rising waters here in California. Yeah, it's tough. I hope everybody does okay out there. Wow. How can I help? Yeah, I well, I'm looking at uh, Big C, got into it around the pandemic time. It was really priced high, and now it is just been steady uh, a little below 10, right around 9. What are your thoughts? No, no, we got we got Amazon. We're, we're Amazon people. We, we, we're prime. We're prime Amazon people. Let's go to Brendan in New Jersey. Brendan. Hi, Kramer. Nice hey, Brendan. to uh, talk to you again. You betcha. Um, I have a question on a shipping company okay. uh, headquarters in Greece. You know, I feel like shipping rates have been going higher recently. Right. And I was curious about your thoughts on Danaos, DAC. They're all trading together. Um, I, you know, I happen to think that Zim's time is here right now. 
Uh, and and th that's the one that I'm thinking. But remember, these are trades. These are always trades. And that, ladies and gentlemen, good other lightning round. The lightning round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, rates have put a sparkle on some risk-free investments. But can you afford to miss the market's hottest opportunities? Kramer parses Powell's latest next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.